You're still here. <laughs> I can't help but notice you're staying late after class a lot, lately. What's up with that? Are you having trouble at home? Or do you just use the classroom to do your homework? Is that not it? Well, I'm out of ideas. Tell me, what kind of secret after-school meetings are you having in here? You're not doing anything illegal, are you? Because if you were to admit to that, to a teacher, I'd have to call your parents. <laughs> I'm not sure how to interpret that silence, but you're smart to keep that to yourself. As much as I want to motivate my students to speak, sometimes it's best to stay quiet. Too many people don't know how to appreciate silence and use it as a tool to get ahead in life. But you've always been a bit more unassuming. I can imagine some of the teachers don't even realize you're there most of the time. Of course, I notice you. And yes, I see you drawing even though you try to hide it. But your scores are always pretty decent, and your essays are a lot more intricate than those of your peers. I'd be lying if I said you were a bad student, but I would like to hear your voice in class more often. To be honest, seeing how silent you are and how you were always staying behind after class, I was a little worried you were living in a bad situation. But I'm not legally allowed to check your files or anything like that, even if there was something going on. <laughs> I really wish I could do more for my students than just talking to them and helping there with their work. But my hands are tied. How are you handling the assignment, by the way? Are you having any trouble with it so far? Let me guess. You haven't even started yet, have you? <laughs> Trust me, that's not uncommon. Not too long ago, I was a student too. And I never even touched the research until the night before at about, oh, 9 p.m. But that just makes your work even more impressive. Such complex thoughts being carried within a few hours and under that much pressure is quite an achievement. Most of the other students wouldn't be able to replicate your thoughts if given a whole year to write. <laughs> I'm not playing favorites, you're just a good student. But maybe don't tell the other faculty members I said any of this. I don't know how strict they are on the whole separation between teachers and students thing. But, um, how about I treat you to some hot chocolate from the teacher's lounge and... You don't tell anybody about this? <laughs> Just in case? I mean, you obviously don't have to, and I, I don't want to get fired in my first year as a teacher here just because it looked like I was chatting up students. See it more as a friendly offer, in case you want to avoid going home just yet. At this time on a Friday, the teacher's lounge should be empty already. <laughs> Most teachers leave with the bell and don't look back. One of the language professors actually forgot her bag a few weeks ago and <laughs> didn't even bother coming back to get it. You might have heard that story already. The students were quite upset when she didn't have their papers graded that next Monday like she promised. <laughs> I think she just used that weekend to catch up on some sleep for once. I wish I could do that sometime, but since I'm still the new girl, I'm worried they'd just kick me out. Oh, excuse me. Mm. <laughs> so 
some sleep would be really nice. But, uh, I'm getting off track again. So how about it? Some free hot cocoa? I think I could really use the company while I look through some tests before I leave. Might help me stay awake. Uh, only if you don't have anything planned already, of course. All right, it's a deal then. Do you have all your things? Good, I'll lock up the classroom. Doesn't look like anyone left anything this time. The teacher's room is right this way. I don't think they usually allow students in there, but that's another one of those old teachers and their disrespect for students things, in my opinion. That's actually one of the reasons I wanted to become a teacher in the first place. Not so I could bully students, obviously, but because I was tired of the older generation of teachers. The more alternatives the school has, the less assholes they have to employ. I'm not dropping any names, but I have a feeling you might know what I'm talking about. I always used to like the younger teachers when I was still a student. They always seemed so fascinated with their subject and were willing to explain it to you when you'd asked. I feel like a lot of the older professors forget their students are also just people, you know? But most of the younger, newer teachers luckily don't have that mindset anymore. Most of them genuinely have a passion and want to teach, which I find to be quite inspiring. And even though my sleep problems and headaches haven't been getting better, constantly having to read through students' papers, um, it's still worth it, in my opinion. If there's even a single student that smiles at me each day, one student that genuinely looks as though they're interested in listening to what I'm saying. It's worth it to me. Seeing that spark in their eyes and when it finally clicks and they understand what's going on, or that look of victory when they give a good answer and I praise them, that's what gives me the energy to keep going. And even though I see you drawing quite often, I... Hope you still care about my class and what I'm saying. I, I try not to judge any of my students on their performance or attitude since I don't know what's going on in their personal lives. Knowing I can still somehow help them get ahead in life, that's enough for me. It's a bit difficult to let go of that idea that everyone is constantly judging you and that they're only distracted because you bore them. Most of the time, that's not the reason at all. If <laughs> everyone were to stop paying attention, though, I might have to start self-reflecting a bit more. Well, this year is the magic door. <laughs> After you? That's kind of nice, isn't it? The couch is probably one of my favorite features, even though it's probably older than the school itself. Well, having a trashy one is better than having none at all, I suppose, and it serves the purpose. Feel free to look around a bit, or just sit down on the couch. This probably feels a bit strange. Usually this place is off limits after all, but I promise you it's fine. Probably. They don't have any security cameras or student detection devices here. <laughs> Just make yourself at home while I get you some hot chocolate.
There we go. Nice and fresh. The stuff is actually surprisingly good. It's a miracle I haven't spilt it on any papers yet, considering how often I drink it. I started out with coffee, but at some point in the afternoon, um, coffee isn't really the best choice anymore. That's why I eventually tried the other things the machine has to offer and got stuck on the hot cocoa. <sighs> I probably shouldn't have sat down on the couch. I've been so tired all day. Last night I didn't sleep at all. I told myself I wouldn't leave until I read through everyone's assignment, so I wouldn't have to stress myself about it anymore. But now... <sighs> oh, man. I'm so sorry. But, uh, at least you got some hot cocoa out of it. Right? <laughs> I'm such an old lady, aren't I? Getting excited over hot cocoa and almost falling asleep the second I sit down on a soft surface. That's the price you ought to pay for becoming a teacher. Aging twice as fast as the rest of the population. But it is what it is. Uh, <clears throat> I know this isn't completely appropriate, but, uh, would it be okay if I rested my head on your lap for a moment? My head is kind of spinning right now, and I wouldn't want to make you get up just so I can lay down. You're sure? Thank you. I don't want to ask you to keep it a secret. If this makes you uncomfortable at all, please tell me or feel free to report me to the other staff here. I never want to. <sighs> Abuse your trust. just stay like this for a little. You're so warm and comfortable. <laughs> 